Ogusaidi omu ati na akora bino biyona. Mukama yebali. Kumukozesi. Kana ito awakora nawe. Tumuongere support. Tumuongere support. Tumuongere. Uju mkibazi kaputa kimu. Tumuongere support. Naba sasedoti mwebali kuija. Kani katanuko msasedoti utaku izire. Nibi ya akora. Vihuni. Sisters, you are most welcome. Inyo, inyo, inyo. Mugabe, eh? Inyo, inyo. Many people will cross through your hands. Many people will come to you. Please welcome them. Please welcome. Embrace them. Talk to them. Listen to them. Fulfill your hopes. Fulfill your dreams. They come, they come crying and in pain. They them live when they are happy and they live deep. Like a panado. But some medical personnel, you go there, pain a younger way younger. Kisasa, Ogira Guiruaro, Umsaka Kurabo. A Miruni came with your sat. You is an exoma, Miss Enu, you do him on Oxemere. I've come here full of joy and happiness because what we are doing is, is a joyous activity. Joyous, eh? Activity. Whatever we keep the case, I can't get the key in, sir. We are Maramizoga to St. Mary, St. Luke, Muslim community. It is this institution, St. Ambrose. You cannot come to Kagadi and you miss to recognize St. Ambrose. And you graduates, you are very special. You are very special. You are very special because you are the pioneers. Musiyabirungu was telling me that Ninja Baba and is to graduate. Ham, aku katalibe. Mukahani kumbi afuayo biyan. Kani kikmai samahir na ba na ba diomugisa. Those who will follow you, I think they will graduate. This is not the first and the last. Mayi wozaru mana umzika ijo akaziringa na na ba hondera mikobati. But it was around one of the guys that cover tick. Nobody who did about it, but tick. Come here, Karungi. The first reading is saying this is the harvest time. The resident district commissioner, the district chairperson, the, the graduates, parents, and the guardians, ladies and gentlemen, I bring you greetings from His Excellency the President of the Republic of Uganda, Yoweri Kaguta Museveni, who is aware that we are here now. I'm pleased to commission St. Ambrose Institute of Health Sciences and to preside over its first graduation function, especially when, at a time when 
I'm the lead of government business. I want to thank you for inviting me and to congratulate the first cohort of students graduating from this institute today. I also congratulate the management and staff of this institute for holding your first graduation ceremony. I thank you for complimenting the government's effort to improve the quality of health care by training and producing health workers. As you know, the NRM government under the wise leadership of His Excellency Yoweri Kabuta Museveni has heavily invested in training of medical workers and provision of health services. We are currently upgrading all health center tools to health center threes and equipping them. However, those health facilities need patriotic, I repeat, patriotic and dedicated medical workers to provide quality services to Ugandans. As you are aware of the NRM core principles, some of you will apply to work in public health facilities we are building right now. But you know the following NRM four core principles. Do you know them? I'm asking my students, all the graduates. One of them is patriotism. The love for the country and the surrounding environment, I mean the people and their property, and the love for yourself. Some people don't love themselves. You find a health staff or a health worker drinking and becoming an alcoholic. If somebody becomes alcoholic, does that mean he loves himself? And so I want you to desist from such. Uh, then we have democracy, the rule of law. This country is secure and peaceful. It's not by coincidence. It's by design. You cannot now go to, South, to Sudan and graduate anybody there, as we speak now. It is because of the peaceful environment that we have facilities like this one. Then we talk in terms of Pan-Africanism. the East African community. The reason we are expanding the East African community is for our children like this one. You can go and work in Tanzania. You don't need a visa to go to work in Kenya or a working permit. And so the East African or Pan-Africanism is one of the core principles for us to expand our market for our products and also to get those other strategic um, chances, strategic security, to mention but a few. Then with the other uh, fourth um, core principle is social economic transformation. You are aware where NRM started this country from? Mumanyirenka inare muriatuire in 1986. You know where we are now. And I believe you can now project where we are going. The government of Uganda has been able to connect this country from north to south, east to west on tarmac. And I want you to appreciate with a big hand clap. We have been able uh, to 
work on schools, health centers, hospitals, and many other facilities. And so, some of our children who are graduating now are going to work in these facilities. As you enter the world of work, I urge you to adopt these principles and make them part of your DNA to serve Ugandans better. The moment you make them your DNA, you immunize yourself against uh, these small, small issues of tribalism, nepotism, corruption, to mention but a few. As you already know, 75% of the disease burden in Uganda is preventable through health promotion and disease prevention. To reverse this situation, we are moving away as a country or as government from predominantly disease-oriented care system to a health promotion one in line with the Ministry of Health Strategic Plan of 2020-2025. It is true that we also struggle, or we are struggling with a growing burden of non-communicable diseases, like Dr. Chamanyu said here some of which are preventable. And so we expect you to help in educating the population to prevent those preventable diseases. I therefore urge you to support the government's health living promotion effort by encouraging people to protect themselves from preventable diseases. Hope you know these diseases. Do you know these diseases? I implore you to be change agents in your communities and serve with dedication whenever you get an opportunity. Remember to live within your means and utilize time and knowledge you have gained to serve Ugandans better all effectively. As I conclude, I want to inform you that I've taken note of the following requests from the director. One, tarmacking the road that leads to this institute. A tractor. Provision of affordable internet services by National Information Technology Authority, commonly known as, as NITAIU. My response is as follows. You all know what happened with World Bank funding. But the government is currently negotiating with World Bank. Hope you know the reasons. I don't want to explain. I don't want to talk about VC guy here. I therefore direct use the powers interested in me by His Excellency the President to direct the district local government of Kagadi to maintain this access road to the institute. The tractor will be delivered to the institute in November through the Ministry of Agriculture and Animal Industry. Because I already informed the president and the president made a directive. So I've given the telephone contact to the director of this institute, to the officer who is in charge. He's called Engineer Okanya. I've given you his contact. Please contact him. The tractors have already been delivered, but they are trying to install them so that they can be delivered to the institute. And I believe you know what I'm talking about. The National Information Technology Authority, Uganda, has extended the internet infrastructure to Kagadi District Local Government Headquarters. And so, you will appoint one of your technical people to work with NITAU to extend the internet infrastructure to
to the institute, and this can be done next week. <laughs> These officers will come here on Monday. As you saw me struggle, they are calling everybody until when I got this answer. So the, those officers will come here on Monday, appoint one of your people to connect internet to the school so that these people use that internet profitably, not surfing with these, these things. And you know what I'm talking about. I want to take this opportunity to thank the board of directors through you, Monsignor. For me, you know, I am what I am because of some of you. And so when I come to Kagadi, I cannot get tired. The other week I was here and now I'm here. Even if you invited me next week, I'll be here. I want to take this opportunity once again to thank the board of directors for this institute, the teaching staff, the Ministry of Education and Sports, the Ministry of Health for all the support you have given to this institute since its inception in 2019 to date. I congratulate you, our children, the graduates, once again, on your graduation and wish you luck with your plans. I'm sorry I will not stay here longer because I'm going to represent the president in a district called Ingora. Internet services are concerned. Uh, today, uh, our libraries would like to use a lot of electronic books. And like in the past when we are having you know, uh, physical books. So you cannot do that unless you have got very good efficient internet. That's why we need you know, efficient internet services. And uh, for our graduates, we encourage them to be committed and uh, work hard. And uh, we know uh, in Uganda we still have shortage of nurses and midwives. And uh, I think the, the best of my understanding, uh, the patient uh, nurse ratio is one for 11,000. So you can see that uh, we still have many nurses. So those who have graduated today, we encourage them uh, to work uh, committedly and uh, efficiently. And uh, we are very optimistic that many of them are going to get into the This is the of instrument sciences. We are excited because today the school has fully been recognized by government and the commissioning by the Prime Minister, Prime Minister of the so what has happened today in this college was um, a regional event where we are commissioning the facility, but also having our first course, the pioneers of this institute graduating. We have been able to graduate 129 students, both nurses and midwives, and we are excited that we are very happy with the teaching staff, but also the parents who have been giving us these students. Of course, during the trainings, we get challenges here and there. One of them being uh, the need for unlimited internet that we need to connect to the computer lab that we have. And once this one is sorted, we know this one is going to improve the research methods and our students will be able to carry out self-directed study. Then we've been having, of course, shortages here and there in terms of electricity. And that's what we have already forwarded to the Prime Minister. And I think at an appropriate time she's going to look into that request and then she'll give us communication. And you can be you can realize that when you were coming, you came through a mud road that connects the east to the main road. It's a lax to be tarmacked. And today we made a request that governments look into that so that we move clean when we are coming from such a facility which is clean. And I'm happy to report that uh, sister, I mean the Prime Minister has already recommended that the district local, uh, local government takes up the activity and then the works begin. And I'm so delighted 
mbampikile hakilo kia kilokino graduation ya itu it is one of the kind that has happened today at St. Ambrose this is a real science class poko mazele kusoma nyele ganiza poko kunja ongela kujamba abantu mkubayamba kubisumere hile kubani ngora poko uheleza wande kubani kundakida nyele ganiza kukora na mtima wande kuona kujamba abantu Kani ni nyongera, ni nyongera kukumi ya ningamu, kwekumi ya ningamu anti, eno ni yenta na dikwa, ni na yoko yongera yonyo ngele nso me, because this is the milestone, this is just the beginning, I have to upgrade, this was just my certificate, and I'm hoping for upgrading, kufuna diploma, na mkama angwati de honfune na degree, because that's my goal.